This is Michael Popak, Legal AF. Remember that movie, The Two Popes? We got a sequel. It's called The Two Presidents. We got the real president, you know, Joe Biden. And then we got a guy who runs around with a black Sharpie and signs things as the president of the United States when he's not. We call that impersonation. We call that uh, false appearance. And that's what Donald Trump's been, been doing. And he just filed a new one where he signed it, President Donald Trump a waiver of his appearance at his arraignment. Now let's let's do the math. Donald Trump has been indicted five separate times by five separate grand juries, six if you count the special purpose grand jury in Georgia. And now in the last week, he's been indicted, as we know, all over again with a superseding indictment, a new indictment coming out of the D.C. grand jury against him. Every indictment means an arraignment. That is a process by which a defendant in a criminal case um, is read the charges. It pleads guilty or not guilty to the charges. Usually in federal court appears in front of a magistrate judge who reports to a district court judge. And there's a there's a there's a process, a solemnity to it. There's also in a in an uh, arraignment process. There's conditions of release that are set related to it. There may be gag orders. There may be uh, putting somebody in jail as a pretrial detention. You know, those types of things. That's what you do at the arraignment. That's what the magistrate does. Now, you have the right to appear in front of, an, uh, in front of a, a judge for your arraignment. Or in special circumstances, you can waive your appearance and just let your lawyers handle matters. Well, Donald Trump has signed a new document it's a waiver. And in that waiver, he's decided that he is still the president of the United States, but he doesn't want to appear any longer in court. See, we always thought he would show up because he's running out of places where he can actually uh, campaign. He doesn't go to rallies anymore. Not, not really. He just phones it into podcasts and things. And as a result, you know, he's left with very few avenues to make his arguments. So at the end of the day, we thought he was going to show up for the arraignment in front of Jack Smith and Judge Chutkin. But no, I guess he feels, well, this is pretty close to the a number of different things in September. He's got a debate. I think, with Kamala Harris on the 10th that he's got to prepare or not prepare for. He's got uh, a hearing in front of Judge Chutkin on the 5th of September, which I guess there would have been also an arraignment date, uh, which he may or may not be uh, showing up for. He's got a oral argument and an appeal in the E. Jean Carroll case that's on Friday about the five the $100 million judgments against him. He's got another hearing, an oral argument, and another appeal about the $500 million civil fraud case at the end of September um, in a New York uh, state appellate court. He's got a sentencing of his criminal case on the 18th of September. He's got a ruling by Judge Bershon about whether immunity applies to his 34 felony counts on the 16th of September. September is a busy month for Donald Trump, and he doesn't want to be bothered with an arraignment. And so let me read you what this waiver says. It's a waiver, we'll put it up on the screen, waiver of defendant's presence at the arraignment and entry of not guilty plea. I, President Donald J. Trump, stop right there. Did you know that four companies control over 80% of the U.S. meat industry? I had no idea. These companies are using mobster-like tactics to crush American family farms. And with the additives they're putting into our food, Americans are stuck with sketchy meat. And would it surprise you to know that 99% of the chicken, 95% of the pork, and 78% of cattle are raised in feedlot or confinement buildings? I was shocked. So what can we do about it? Let me tell you about a company that's coming up swinging on behalf of American Family Farms and your family's food security. Moink. Their farmers are given an honest day's pay for an honest day's work. And they deliver meat straight to your doorstep at prices you can actually afford. Keep American Family Farms farming by joining the Moink movement today at moinkbox.com slash legal AF. Sign up today and get free hot rolls in your first order. Spelled M-O-I-N-K, box.com, slash legal AF. Oink, oink, get moinked. Moinkbox.com, slash legal AF. Listen, I've been, I've had colleagues who are former judges, former senators, former congresspeople, former ambassadors, and the like. They have former in front of their name. It's former ret or retired Judge J. Michael Ludick. It's former or retired President Barack Obama. It is former, former or retired President 
Bill Clinton. No, here it's I, President Donald J. Trump, the above named defendant in accordance with Federal Rule of Criminal Procedure 10B2 to hereby waive my right to be present at arraignment and I authorize my attorneys. By the way, it's already a typo. To be present at arraignment. It would be present at my arraignment. It would be present at the arraignment, but not a, pres a present at arraignment unless you are caveman or Tarzan, uh, you know, lawyer. Okay, but let's leave that aside for a minute. To be present at arraignment, and I authorize my attorneys to enter a plea of not guilty on my behalf to each and every count of the superseding indictment. I further state that I received a copy of the superseding indictment and reviewed it with my counsel. Signed by Todd Blanche uh, and Emil Bove and John Lauro, we haven't heard from him in a while, um, and President Donald J. Trump with his big, weird seismograph signature. We'll put it up on the screen there. So Donald Trump is, if he's given up the right to stand in front of those bicycle racks and give some crazy press conference out in front of the courthouse steps like he usually does, this must be bad. <laughs> this must be bad for the Trump campaign. They must be like, listen, boss, you got to prepare for the September 10th, the debate. Okay, you may not like ABC, you might complain about it, but you got to prepare for it. You got to prepare for Kamala Harris. You never debated her before. You got to do that. We already have a hearing on the 5th of September about moving the superseding indictment forward that we got to do. We got a notice of removal that was just filed and then refiled with a motion to try to get, stop the sentencing in New York. We got a sentencing in New York of your criminal case on the 16th of September. We've got a hearing on Friday, an oral argument about $100 million of judgment for you sexually assaulting as convict, as a judge by a jury, E. Jean Carroll, and the punitive damages that result. We got an appeal on the 26th of September in front of the appellate court, about $500 million fraud case. We got a lot on our plate, boss. Don't go to the arraignment. It just shows you how he's, how how nervous and skittish they are that they're not going to that arraignment. I think that's a bad sign for Donald Trump. It shows weakness, and he hates to show weakness, but there's no other way to interpret it. Uh, we'll continue to follow what happens. Lots of things are happening this week uh, right here on the Midas Touch Network and on Legal AF. Find out what 40 million people, where's that card? 40 million people already know. That if you want to know more about politics and law, there's one home for it. Midas Touch and Legal AF. Wednesdays and Saturdays, we do the podcast. It's at 8 p.m. Join us. You can uh, you can uh, chat with us. You can uh, watch us recording. We get 20,000 people watching us. And then you can listen to us on all audio podcast platforms. I do it on Wednesdays with Karen Friedman at Niffalo. I do it on Saturdays with Ben Micellis. And then I do hot takes like this at that intersection of law and politics about every week. And if you're interested in the law at the intersection of law and politics, then join our Patreon, patreon.com slash legal AF, where we teach you about the law that sits at the intersection of law and politics. So until my next hot take, until my next legal AF, this is Michael Popak reporting. Heary, heary, Legal AF Law Breakdown is now in session. Go beyond the headlines and get a deep dive into the important legal concepts you need to know and we discuss every day on Legal AF. Exclusive content you won't find anywhere else, all for the price of a couple of cups of coffee. Join us at patreon.com slash legal AF. That's patreon.com slash legal AF.